Oh my god. I What's up, Flomies? I'm here with my Flomily, Nini, Poppy. We are getting ready. I'm rocking my camo bull skull merch today. You can get yours too. Go to shopthemerch.com. If you guys are new here, I'm Fallon. You're the Flomies. And it is time for me to run barrels in Guthrie, Oklahoma. First up on the list is Mojo. I am rocking my man sports brain bridge this morning. I gave him his version of brain bridge this morning, which is 20 cc's of four calm right before we run. You can get that. Just go to shopthemerch.com. I'll, I'll put a link below in my description too. And you can use code Fallon to win some freebies. So no discount this week, but you can win some freebies from me. I'm gonna pick five of you guys to get some freebies by using my code this week. I'm excited my run yesterday was a little bumpy so I'm gonna go back through and just make a really really good run smooth and just try to get him really confident today as of this morning he's completely destroyed his blanket I feel like most of you guys have a horse that's done that like I can't keep a blanket on him I mean I can keep it on him but every leg strap is gonna be ripped off by the morning it's like giving a dog a new little blanket and you're like so excited to give him a little place to sleep a little pillow to sleep on and then they destroy it in the middle of the night that's how I feel that's how I feel about this blanket like shamed him and cursed him for this blanket I'm so mad those things are not cheap no they're not all right I guess we better go get on I am busting out a new helmet that goes with my jeans they gave you guys a code too for 10 bucks off every helmet plus free shipping over any orders with 50 bucks this is the coolest helmet ever look how cool that is and it matches my shirt that's so pretty. And it matches my bell boots. I'm busting out brand new bell boots. They never, never look the same. This is the set that I've been using all week. It's just rose gold and kind of plain and subtle. Our version of plain and subtle. Boom. Baby flows hackamore. <laughs> improved we were two tenths faster today had a little bit of a bridle change i put an o-ring on him and went just a tick slower to go two tenths faster so i think that that's something that a lot of people don't understand sometimes you got to slow down to speed up so god please take me somewhere tropical <laughs> why why is it so cold ah okay i'm gonna unsaddle this bad boy and then wait a couple hours and then it's baby flo's turn I've gotten to meet so many cute little cowgirls and all people from all places and ages and I don't know it's just been very cool and getting to to know that I have these clinic dates coming up and I get to meet all of you guys like I, it's, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning like I'm so excited so excited to come see you guys so I hope you guys are excited I think I made a great choice I feel like I did Mojo what do you think oh my gosh look we are full blown twinning. You better wave to the flow, Molly. You better wave. What's your name? Addie Wheeler. There you go. Addie is a genius. She watched Insta Story and ended up doing the deal. I like it. You look good. You look good. You drove how far today? Three and a half hours. Oh my God. You must be really good in school. You are? See, this, the moral of the story is straight A students get their parents to do more stuff for them so do better in school all right dad you get dad of the day right, second cool. you're only second to one dad all right okay okay i'm gonna clear up some things with you guys and uh, help you do some rodeo math and let you guys know what my goals are because i feel like a few of you are still confused as to what it is that i'm doing and i want to clear things up the going got rough on the road at one rodeo. I am in the world standings. I've decided that I'm definitely going to rodeo. I'm always going to run barrels. I love doing show jumping, but if me going to the national finals means I have to go run on really terrible ground all over the place and potentially hurt my horse, it's something I'm not interested in right now. I do not mind traveling, so if I can run at some big barrel races or even rodeos that I know the ground is amazing, I'm going to travel. I got a link this morning of a barrel race in Italy. Like, I'm going to go all over the place 
anywhere that I can go run barrels, enjoy my horse, make some memories. Um, and if that means that I get to hit some rodeos in May, which I'm going to in Texas or Oklahoma, I think there was one in Tennessee that's supposed to be really good. Um, and it keeps me in the world standings and I push toward the NFR and I can just go to those rodeos that I know are really great. I'm going to do that. I think before my goals are always so ambitious that I'll go to any of them because I wanted to go to the NFR so badly. My goals are different now because I don't necessarily live or die by being in the top 15 in the world. I want to meet you guys, be an inspiration, do big things, and treat my horses fairly. And if I wasn't doing that, then that really wasn't the goal. It's not my goal to win a gold buckle. It's not my goal to, um, you know, my, my whole goal system doesn't live or breathe by me being in the top 15 in the world. I'm currently 23rd in the world, and you're gonna see me at some rodeos, and you're gonna see me at some barrel races, and I don't know where I'm gonna travel yet, but I'm gonna go far and wide and enjoy my barrel horses and have a lot of fun with it, and if I, start catching some steam in some places where we feel confident that it's going to be really good and we can make it to the NFR on those at those places then great if it doesn't then great I'm gonna be in Indiana West Virginia Pennsylvania New York I'm gonna go to some places I've never run before and run my horse and go with my family and meet my flomies on the road and have an amazing time and put on some really cool clinics so that's the breakdown of that I think a lot of people don't understand what it's like on the rodeo road you know, I also did not put the run of me in Logandale on the internet for a reason. It is posted online. I don't want to see that. I'm not going to post it for you guys. Please don't ask in the comments. It makes me crazy. Who would want to see my horse fall down? Um, she fell. That's all you need to know. It breaks my heart to watch it. It breaks my heart to see other people watch it. I do not want it online where people can see it and be afraid or frightened by the sport. I just want them to know it happened and you can be brave and you can get through it. It is part of this, even on amazing ground that's gonna happen. I want nobody to be afraid or frightened that they are not able to participate in a really, really fun sport. That's my, my, my rodeo math. I really didn't do any math for y'all. I'm really never been that good at math, mom. I was homeschooled. <laughs> She knows. Not that good at math. Rodeo math is, Dad, how far do you have to drive to go to the NFR? If you if if you place, if you do well, I mean, you can lose and go the same amount of miles. You'd have to drive at least 70,000 miles. And how many rodeos would you need to make? You'd have to make at least 70 rodeos. 70 rodeos, at least 70,000 miles. And how much do you have to win? You have to average $1,000 at a rodeo. So you got so to win 70,000-ish, 70, 75,000. Right. So it's like a triple seven on a slot machine. Cha-ching, <laughs> seven, seven, seven. $70,000, about 70 rodeos, about 70,000 miles. If you win Houston or Calgary, money, that's great. That's what you want to do. We were so close this year, and I would have gone and done the deal. And, um, you know, I don't want to be a, a hypocrite. Um, which I think I'm a little hypocritical. You know, I love to rodeo and I want to go to the NFR and I want to keep my horse on good ground. And that statement in and of itself is hypocritical. You want to go to the NFR and you want good ground. Get it. Yeah, you can just, that's <laughs> not it. a thing. Pick your rodeos where your horse does well. And if you win those, you get to be in the top 15. Perfect. Yep. So we'll do that. Um, the rodeos that we love and we think are really great, I'm going to enter in the ones that aren't, we won't go and that's good enough for me to get there, that's great. But the the reality is, if I'm not going to 70 of them, it's probably gonna be a lot harder because the rodeos are only capped at 100 rodeos, or you can make up to 100 rodeos, which means if somebody, if I go to 30 that I'm really comfortable with and somebody else goes to 70, the odds are against me of being to outpoint that person in the world standings. It's a game of hauling. Yep. Somebody will out haul you if you don't go. Yeah, they'll out haul you and then out win you and then whatever. So, and it's, it's plenty fair. If you want to play that game, you can play it. But for my horses and my body and my whatever, I'm going to go to the ones that I like and see how, it, see how it plays out. We'll just see. But in the meantime, I am actually kind of close to home. It's not because I'm going to local barrel races. This could have been in Minnesota. If we decided we wanted to go, we would have driven to Minnesota. So yeah, you guys may see me at some big events. There's a really cool rodeo in Quebec called St. Teeth, 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 I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it's in Quebec and it's supposed to be like the coolest rodeo ever. 
maybe I go to that one. You know, you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go to the ones that I feel like are really cool experiences and fun. Yeah. Way fun. Make it fun. Yeah. It's a hobby, after all. It is a hobby. Yeah. This is not anyone's... I, although I am a professional barrel racer, this is not my ultimate end goal profession. I want to speak and inspire you and help you lose weight and help you be a better barrel racer. And I want to, um, you know, help the next generation. So I think that after I've done a lot of self-reflection, I've realized that my profession is to be an inspiration. So I didn't give up on anything. I gained a lot. There's Flomies everywhere today. And this one, do you run barrels? Yes. What's your favorite part about running barrels? Going fast. <laughs> Going fast? Do you like to lose? No. Is it part of it? Yes. Yeah, that's part of it. I think nobody realizes that, that you're actually gonna lose. And then when you win something, you remember it for like ever. Then when you lose something, like you forget that you won ever. You're like, I'm never gonna win again. So, what do you run barrels? Yes. What's your favorite part? I don't know. You have no idea why you run barrels. That's a bad I like, thing. I like to do it. Yeah? You like to, but you don't love it? Yeah, I just like my horses and spend time with them. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Would you, would you still feel the same about your horse if you didn't get to compete with them? Would you still just hang out with horses? Yeah. Yeah, me too. What's your least favorite thing about it? What do you hate about barrel racing? Um, when they run, when, run you into the barrel. When you lose a hat, you have to pay a fine. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that, that's why I wear a helmet. See how much yeah. money I save yeah. every year? You're busy paying your hat fine, laughing at the girl in the helmet. I'm busy over here counting all my $10 that I got in my pocket. See, I'll convert you someday. What's your least favorite thing? Um, hitting, hitting barrels. the hard barrels. Yeah. They should be made of marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier. That would be better. You have bruises on your leg. <laughs> yeah. And that oh my gosh. Back up on your horse. I've had so many bruises. It's, yeah. They're... Well, you need to tell people to subscribe to my channel. Tell them subscribe why. Subscribe to your channel. Why? Because Valentine was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Can either one of you guys floss? I can try. Yeah. I I'm. I think it. I'm way better than. Wait. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking. I can't do it. I'm. I think I'm. I think I'm better than you. I, no, I, I mean, you're doing pretty good. I can't do it. You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Go saddle your horse. Are you guys running here? No. No? no. Uh, Cause I'm, run, I'm running a broken bow, though. Yeah, we'll do good. Mojo won a check. We're very excited. Mojo won a check in the fraternity, so we're going into it really great. And then Baby Flo and I are number 143, so we're super stoked to run. Uh, I guess I need to go back out in the cold and get ready. This will be Fallon Taylor, the more clothes heiress. She rides out of Dallas, Texas. Here comes Fallon and me. Ready or not? awesome to say the least she was amazing and we are going back in to see they have buckles for those that competed all three days so i entered all three days and i might be in contention for which i'm really excited about one they're really pretty and two not many pro rodeos give buckles so i'm excited to get out of the wind i'm excited to potentially i mean they could give me a brush and a bucket i would be elated so we're going back inside to see if I got anything. So Hello. yesterday I got, is it points? Yeah, yeah. 18 oh, points. Yes. And I got 19 points for a total of 37 points, meaning I was ahead by 10 <laughs> points, but she doesn't have, or she doesn't have today. 11 points today. How many? 11 today. Both of them. <laughs> so I got 11 points. So I'm at 48. Did Tedra Kinsey get a lot of points today? She only got... Six How did JC Etbauer do? She got 18. Okay. So she has 43 points and I have 48 points! I think this means we might go home with a buckle. Is this the proudest moment ever, you guys? 
Dad, are you proud? Let's do it in front of the trees. Uh, yeah, this is very proud. Okay. Can I take it now? Yeah. Can I take it now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is nice. That is why you tump home. That's why. That's why. That's nice. Yeah, dream of. It was a good day of barrel racing. And an even better day of coming home and seeing all the people and animals I love so much. That's nice drama tomorrow. I think it's safe to say it's okay to give yourself a pass to be super fulfilled and doing the things that you really, really love all the time. Thank you guys for all the support and a big yay to baby Flo for the awesome win today. I love you guys. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you tomorrow. Congratulations.